day, boy. Moving day, moving day. Where the bitches at? Where the bitches at? New crib, new crib. New crib. Putting a big ass stripper pole in this joint. Man, we're gonna have to have a jacuzzi right here. Facts. Right. So that way they jump out wet bitches on the pool. Jeez. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. Check this kitchen out. Damn, son. Yeah, this joint nice. Okay, okay. I always wanted a light skinned bitch on the counter. So I can just do a dirt. You feel me? Facts, facts, facts. You got to put it. You already know how I'm carrying it. Jose, you already know how I'm carrying it. About to get on that 2K shit. Ah! Ah! You know what I'm saying? Hey! Strap me up, strap me up! Fuck, we get a bear, man. A long day. Ah! Shit! Kobe. Ah, Kobe! What the fuck? Fuck is my Xbox set? Just went in the kitchen to get a fucking bear. How the fuck this shit missing already? Showing some paranormal activity shit. Yo, bro! Yo, bro! Yo. Yo, long. You see my Xbox? Nah. Nah, you know I'm a PlayStation nigga. Come on, man. Like, where your chick at, dog? It was just here. I was just playing this joint. Bro, she just went to work. What's up? Like this nigga girl, like David Blaine, shit is just missing. I know it ain't in the fucking bathroom, but I'm gonna just check this shit. I'm gonna just check the bathroom. What the fuck? What the fuck? Shit just magically disappearing oh, and shit. Bro, you know, I got you. What's this, bro? Money? Hey, that's better than money. Nigga, what am I supposed to do with this? You can't even get on my bus with this bullshit. Games? PlayStation 3, man? 2020, bro? Wait, are you kidding me? Come on, bro. That's a limited edition. 
Bro, you couldn't even get on public transportation with this bullshit, man. What I supposed to do with this, man? This is unbelievable, man. I gotta get a drink, bro. You stressing me out. You and your girl stressing me out, man. This shit is like David Blaine, man. I feel as though like this crib is like paranormal activity, man. Shit missing. Don't flush. You wearing the same shit? Fuck, man. Oh, man. Let's see. Don't tap the front. Try this shit again, bro. Like, I know I ain't tripping. I know I ain't tripping. Nick, she took the fucking refrigerator. Welcome to the first quarter of the, the Talk, Talk Heavy, Heavy Podcast. Podcast. Hey, man. Episode 26, man. We happy to be back here. Hey, man. Listen, how does it feel to be a part of the most popular show? Well. There is. I'm going to tell you. Especially because I'm used to being the most popular nigga that it is. This is normal. Yeah, me too. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Right. Coincidence. All right. Shit. Coincidence. Yeah. What a coincidence. Hey, man. Listen. I'm excited to be here. But before we begin the show, I'll wait to the second quarter. I'll wait till the second quarter. Let's, let, let's do the first quarter. If y'all know the show, the Talk Heavy Podcast, we always talk about sports the first quarter. Um, So let's get yeah, into it. You, you, you skipped your introduction. Da, 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 da. The Slice Show. <laughs> no, here we go, man. What you want, man? All right, here you go. I'm going first. This is your host, Slice Maximus, the Prince of Hunting Park. Two-time national champion. The man built in the image of God. Mr. Two push-ups a night. The BBW lover. The pregnant woman slayer. The greatest man to ever walk on the face of the motherfucking earth. Slice Maximus. I think you need to start doing more than two push-ups a night. I swear to God, you walked in the room the other day and your titties... It's crazy. I'm working on these drawings here. Go ahead, man. You know what I'm saying, yo, keep it short and sweet, man. It's GB, aka G underscore winner, the four time national champion, and one of the greatest hosts there is in podcasting. I give you that. I had to think about it. I give you that. I'm gonna tell you the most controversial. You think so? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 
It's crazy. Who's more I controversial than you? I don't you? feel that way, you though. You don't feel that way? Nah, okay. I just feel like we just talk how we talk in the crib. Yeah, that's why you're the most come, controversial. It just comes off that way. We must be... Some well, of our conversations at the house must just be some real... Being as though I got to call the lawyer every week to get our fucking episode uploaded because uh, they try shit. to ban this shit every week. Yo, thanks we to almost, you. Yo, we almost didn't get the episode up this week. Yeah, we thanks had to it. you. I mean, that's why we got retainers. That's why you got lawyers on retainer for shit like that. Hey, all right, YouTube, we sorry, man. We're going to try to watch our... And, uh, it's in, in, before we get started on sports, um, Slice need has to issue an apology. I was going to wait till the second quarter. No, you might as well do it now, bro. All Let's right. get the look, because this way, the lawyers could be off our ass. Yeah. All right, so look, all I'm going to say is this, right? They, uh, It's called, uh, I think they said HIPAA laws that I violated with this man. Nigga, this ain't motherfucking healthcare, nigga. All right, well, I'm just, I don't know what it is, but they said some, some kind of fucking HIPAA laws where I wasn't supposed to use real names. Now, I didn't say last name, so our lawyer was able to beat it. It could be a million Rodneys out there. But Rodney, who is Rodney, I just want to say. Rodney, you read it, too. Rodney, you're a fucking rat. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said, Rodney, listen. First of all, a couple things I want to say. I want to first apologize to you. When you emailed the Talk Heavy podcast, you need to know that it's in confidence. You didn't say that in your letter, man. You wrote the names out, but I'm stopped blaming you. Second of all, man, I took the threats. I understand. I apologize. Rodney, I'm not afraid of you. I'll fuck you up, Rodney. But I'm not trying to fuck you up, Rodney, because I want you to come on the show and be a part of our dating our dating show. When we do the fucking speed dating at the Talk Heavy Podcast, me, Rodney, I got a homie named Dell. Some girls online said they're going to come do it. I want y'all here, man. Let's get into sports. So let's sports is a sport dating. Rodney, man, again, I'm sorry. you trying to set a bitch up with some domestic violence, bro. No, Rodney need, Rodney need love, man. Oh, my God. Yo, man, let's talk about sports, man. Let's talk and, about sports. And I, I this swear I was joking. This is crazy. I was joking. Hey, about listen, man. Go ahead. All right, so first thing, man, we're going to talk NBA, man. We got, I had to write this shit down, man. We got yeah. the we got Miami versus the Bucks. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm 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 going with Miami in this series. I'm picking LeBron James. What the fuck, bro, bro? Listen, go ahead. This boss North Coat. I got Boston versus Toronto, taking Boston in this series. I got LeBron James. Okay, mm -hmm. we got OKC versus Houston. OKC I'm, and Houston. I'm taking Houston. Houston, OKC. I, I'm taking LeBron James. <laughs> LeBron James, I got you to win the motherfucking championship this year. I don't give a fuck about none of them other teams. Brian Brown is my boy. Nuggets and Clippers. LeBron James. I'm going with the Clippers. Mm -hmm. And then the Clippers will be facing your guy, LeBron James. Uh, I'm going with Anthony Davis. What he playing? plays with LeBron James. You understand <laughs> what I'm saying? LeBron James is going to win it all this hey, year. Hey, man. Well, listen, speaking of sports, right? Mm -hmm. Let's have a discussion, man. We, because this has been an argument. It's been an ongoing argument, but, right? Especially, you know, we come from a basketball town, um, Philly. Um, we need to talk about this James Harden move, right? Shout out, Kobe. Is it a walk? Is James Harden's patented step over? Is it a walk? Is it a travel? You asking me? I'm asking you. you I say traveling. You motherfucking right. It's a travel. Hey, listen, so, it's not even. We, I'm, this is gonna be a short quarter because we agree. They need to take back fifty percent of that motherfucker's points because ninety percent, the other, half of them is because he walked. Yo, listen, this shit is, is, is it's a traveling. Y'all, he's getting an extra step. Okay, can you, you take somebody like like Allen Iverson? Okay, can you imagine if you gave that nigga an extra step? Oh yeah, his crossover would have been. <laughs> with that yeah, shit. Like, come on, yeah. bro. Can you imagine if Michael Jordan had an extra step? Mm. I can't. It's like, crazy. come on. Like, step. yo, stop with the oh, it's a gather. And it, no, 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 no. Bullshit. No. This motherfucker is Euro into the side, taking another step. Like, come uh, on. Bro. It's some bullshit. Especially it's the step bullshit. back three. Come on. The step back three is is clearly a travel. It's clearly a travel. I don't um I don't know. I think the NBA is just so thirsty to have a high scoring game, they just let that shit go. Yeah, I mean, but your guy LeBron, he walks all the time. Don't talk about LeBron. LeBron will take five steps. First of all, that's a lie. Foul line. That's a lie. Come on. First bro. of all, LeBron James is probably the greatest basketball player to do it, but we're not gonna get had that argument again. What, what you mean? No, right, we, right now. Yeah, we uh, from today. I'm gonna let you have it. I don't even want to get into Jordan. Day. We're not gonna do Jordan LeBron. We did that shit before. Listen, what I'm trying to tell you. Okay. He cries a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But that's it. LeBron is fucking playing by the rules. He never walks. He never travels. He don't stay with He never fucking does anything illegal. He doesn't double dribble. He doesn't even foul people. I, I feel like LeBron is LeBron's too perfect, okay? Number one, he, he he's... he's I, I think him and his wife has to have an agreement. 
I think he I think he'd be out here bombing bitches. What do this got to do with him? I just think it's sports. He been with us since like high school, bro. Bomb, he, he's a basketball player and bombing bitches is a sport. Okay. So we it's a double sport. I feel like LeBron definitely be out here bombing. Oh. And I just feel like his wife understands. Is because other than that, he's too perfect. There's no way. Yeah. There's no way he ain't out here bombing. Mm. Come mm. on, bro. Yeah, I don't know. Now, now. Come on, no. I'm matter of fact, I'm not even gonna let you put that narrative in the world. Fuck you. LeBron James is perfect. He's not out bombing chicks. He is a faithful man to a nice black beautiful woman that he knows Guess since what? high school. He yeah. ain't fucking get rich and go get fucking one of the Kardashians. Okay. He did it the right way. Okay. You mind your Guess who else business. we? Guess who else we felt that, that way about? Who? Magic motherfucking Johnson. We Come felt on. that same way about Fat Magic. Come on now. We felt the same way. So they hit him with the uh, to they hit him with them three letters and I ain't talking about the FBI nigga. Oh my god. If you don't leave my boy Magic alone, Come man. Come on, bro. Listen, you're not gonna put a cheating case on my motherfucker boy LeBron. We talking about sports here. Listen, the man Do You is- feel like LeBron since high school ain't had no other box in his life. Since high school. You feel like he ain't never fucked nobody else ever in life since high school. I'm going with LeBron James. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you talking about you motherfucking right here ain't had no other box man faithful man Come you gonna, listen there's faithful men out here I'm gonna fuck if they multi-millionaires you not gonna create the narrative that fucking LeBron James is out here fucking having man, adulterous listen. affairs not the, doing look, it look, LeBron listen, James let me see if, this if LeBron James being faithful then fucking James Harden ain't walk nigga let me see this list man fuck you talking Miami about Miami versus the Bucks man who is Jimmy Butler out there in Miami That's I'm go. I'm going with Miami alright here we go we got Boston and Toronto man I don't care. LeBron James again, man. Fuck that list, man. Fuck the NBA, man. You talk about... Let's change the topic, man. Let's talk about hockey or some shit. I don't know shit about hockey. I'm black, dude. They fight. So what? That's cool with me. Every sport I, need to let you fight. Let's talk I about that. I, Why look, is it okay for you to fight? I'm changing the subject on sports. Why is it okay for me to punch somebody in the face in hockey, but if I punch somebody in the face in basketball, I get kicked out? Can you answer that question? Because basketball is a, is a black man's sport. All right. What about wait, wait, baseball? That's a, that's a poppy sport. It's, that's just a racist ass statement you just I mean, said. Just, is it okay? Who dominate baseball? I don't know. I don't watch baseball. The poppies. Okay. What are, you, what are you talking about? Like, is it not even the? If you from Judiata, shout out to y'all. I know y'all play this baseball. Like, come on, man. You don't just assume you. Like, stop acting like you don't assume everybody from Frankfurt could just play baseball. You just assume that. You just assume the whole Kensington could throw a curveball. Okay, I guess we do. I mean, come on, bro. That and go come on, bro. Just like just like you go down that. North Philly, you just feel like every guy, everybody got a handle. Nah, I played them. There. They, I played them there. If they ever got, got a handle, or they can rap. Like is one oh of the my two. God, like come on, bro. Negative. So I mean, let me just ask you. keep it a bean. Let's just say this, right? Is there any other move that you ever seen anybody else patenting move in the league? That's the last question before we get out of sports. Okay. Besides James Harden cheating ass fucking bullshit ass move, yes, that you think was illegal, yeah, that should have been, yeah, eight Allen Iverson's crossover. I'm ready to slap the shit out you. Don't ever fucking talk <laughs> bad about Allen Iverson. How you want to say it was a carry? Like, is that what you trying to say? I, I, see, listen, I didn't say it was a carry. You just said no. That. The fucking NBA said that dumb shit. I I didn't say that. Uh, I didn't say so, that. So, right, tell me, what was illegal about Allen Iverson crossover? Because he crossed Jordan the fuck over? It was a carry. He ain't never crossed LeBron over, did he? It was definitely a carry. Oh, that's what I thought. It was the, He might have crossed Allen. He might have crossed fucking LeBron over. That shit was a carry. It, but, listen, Tim Hardaway's crossover I mean, was we're very, not getting back to was, this shit. Was we're not getting back to Tim Hardaway shit. It was very legal. All right. You know what I'm saying? AI shit was a carry. Then Kobe started doing it. More of a carry. Then everybody in the league started doing it. It was a carry. It was a carry. So the two when, most when the niggas from Strawberry Mansion hit you with that shit, you was screaming. It was a fucking carry, nigga. It was a carry because they ain't do it right. They, they ain't do it, it like they, that. Yeah, when they hit they you with that it. mansion, that step back shit, yeah, that's because they, they got be, you two fouls in seven seconds. It was three, but who pulled the out the game, nigga? Three fouls because I, I was trying to use all five, so I had to get yeah, back in the game. Did. Yeah, all nigga, right, but, that shit was a fucking carry then. Uh, you might. It was a carry. All right, man. So here you go. Those are two illegal moves. I got one more for you. What's that? The Kareem Abdul Jabbar hook shot. What the fuck is you talking about? I'm just saying it was illegal. Why was it illegal? It couldn't like, be stopped. They should have fucking banned that shit. He so, could have fucking whole league with that shit. Why was it illegal? Because they couldn't be stopped. I if mean, you got a move that can't be stopped, they need to ban it from the game. If you put a big bitch at a buffet, they can't be stopped. That don't mean it's fucking illegal, bro. Got a good point. <laughs> at the buffet? At the buffet. You put a big bitch at the buffet, they, they can't be stopped neither. That don't make the move illegal, bro. Oh, my God. You know what right. I'm saying? I'm out, man. I'm done with sports, man. Yo, you man. got it. That's the end of the first Fuck quarter. This quarter. 
This second quarter is brought to you by Mad Creations for all your printing needs, whether it be sublimation or vinyl. Or check out our customized Talk Heavy mugs. We got the coasters to match. We got the customized Talk Heavy headphones, table banners, even if you could check out our wall canvases here. Just to make the statement that Mad Creations can pretty much print on anything. And most importantly, Mad Creations has classes to where you too could create all of this customized apparel. So make sure you go to IG and hit up at Mad Creations 215. Don't get angry. Simply get mad. Welcome to the second quarter of the, the Talk, Talk Heavy, Heavy Podcast. Podcast. Hey man, yep. listen, listen. This week, uh, you know, it, by recommendation of the lawyers, the question of the day has been taken away from Slice. So I'm going to submit the question of the day. I this apologize. Week. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, bro. You try, you, you try to get us fucking indicted. No, I did not. I apologize to Rodney, man. Again. I'm okay. not going to apologize to Rodney no more after this second quarter. All right? I, I Rodney think, just got to eat a dick. I, it's not going to matter. He's going to be in the feds anyway. No, nah, man. Rodney threw them little light threats <laughs> at me. He threw them light threats at me, man. That shit wasn't funny. All right. Oh, I'm sorry, shit. Rodney. You going to fuck slice up. Rodney, I, I, I took the threats, man, lightly, man. It was my bad, so I'm, I ain't take offense to it, man. I, okay. I forgive you, bro. We we, we have uh, um another another helpless soul that we need to help here this week on the Talk Heavy podcast. Worse than Rodney. <laughs> Uh no, nah, not quite, okay. not quite on uh Rodney's domestic abuse level. Okay. Um, this says, and I purposely, I, I wrote this from the email, and I purposely left a blank there just so I wouldn't say the name. Thank you. I be thinking. My name is blank. <laughs> what kind of name is blank? I don't fuck that. <laughs> I'm not making the mistake Rodney made. Laugh out loud. That's not funny. I'm 26. And I'm madly in love with my boyfriend. We're together all of the time, even on weekends. I'm always right at his house or he's always at mine. We recently moved in together and things have taken a turn for the worse. I never realized how junky he is and how many things he did that annoyed me. From playing a video game all night with the headset loud to dirty dishes, clothes everywhere, and sex has fallen off. We would have sex every time I was at his house or vice versa. Now it's every now and then. I love him and hate him at the same time. Wondering if I moved out, would things go back to normal? Uh, let me get this right. The sex went down because a man moved in? Um, That's weird. So that's, that's different. I am assuming because she's not real specific. So I'm assuming that. Oh, she, she don't want to fuck. She no 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 no. She's moved in with him, right? So she's basically saying that uh, before they moved in, they were still together all the time, right? Right. So he was always at her crib. She was always at his crib. Mm -hmm. They fuck all the time. Everything was great. Right. They was around each other all the time. No problems. Mm -hmm. She moved in. Right. Now shit is just fucked up. Fucked up. But she said the sex dropped off. Is the it because of him? Off? Or because she um, ain't in the mood because no, he's dirty. Sounded, well, she's writing the letter, so it's sounding like um, he don't, he's not into her. He's not. She probably fucking. getting on his motherfucking nerves too. What's her so, name? So, so you know, uh, that's, a, that's a setup. I'm sorry. Uh, right, let, so, so damn. you want to start or you want me to go? I'm gonna start. Go ahead. All right. So it sounds like the typical case of I ain't know you was the fuck dirty, and now you live in my crib. Uh, it, it, it goes like this, right? And, and I, I say this about everybody. I say this about every couple, right? Mm -hmm. You don't know a motherfucker until you live with him, right? But this is the thing. Here's the thing. Mm -hmm. Even when you over there all the time, y'all together all the time, you spending the night on the weekends mm -hmm. and he over to your crib, mm -hmm. it's still not, it's not the, the same. same. Well, I'm going to tell you, because think about this. When you bring a woman to your house, right? We clean up. Uh, 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 sweep the floor, mop the floor, spray the air freshener. You know what I'm saying? You just took a poop. You had to spread the air fresh to get that shit right. You know what I'm saying? But if she lives there, you kind of don't do the same shit. You come home from work. You're not <sighs> mopping and sweeping to the level, which you should be if you clean. But some people are dirty, man. All right. So I got a- More than dirt. I, 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 okay. So 
which what we got to understand is, sweetheart, you now live with this man, right? Mm -hmm. So now he has to, it, there's things about you that he also has learned that he's never known before. Because guess what? Mm -hmm. I've seen a woman come come over for the weekend and not take a shit the whole weekend. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like they hold it. The whole weekend. They, they, hold, they, hold, it, the whole they weekend. hold it the whole weekend. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, yeah. she shitting. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now y'all live together. Now all the panties with the shit stains and all that. It's laying around. Yeah, they laying around. He see them. I don't know about the shit stain, but I know they're behind uh, them period drawers. Oh, man. Yeah. The period drawers mm -hmm. and all of the motherfucking, uh, the tampon in the motherfucking trash can and, a, and all that. Like, now he get to see all of that shit. How you turning on her? She wrote the fucking I, because letter. Because this is what I do. <laughs> okay. This is what the fuck I do. This is okay? a man's show. Because, because, okay. Uh, let me give you something. Okay. It, 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 come, all right, so I can only give it... All right. Let, let, let's make this whole thing about roommates, right? Let's just call it the fucking yeah. roommates. Question. I mean, even with men moving men, in with other that, men, like friends saying. moving in together, I, it's it's always that way. Like, but it's other things though. It's more than just cleanliness. I don't want it to seem like that because even when in college, I had a roommate, right? Okay. Sh shout out to my man C forty. I call him C forty. You know why? Because every time I came in the room, this nigga was playing E forty. Oh, if y'all know who E40 is, he from the Bay. It's like he be talking about my weebles and all type of other stuff. Every time I came in the room, <laughs> it was either the Temptations or E40. I had to get used to that What's shit. What's your roommate name? His name Cam. That's for sure. That's my man. I can say, I don't give a fuck. Cam know he play E40 every day. Cam, if you out there watching the Talk Heavy podcast, motherfuckers, I call him C40. That's his name. You could be with a person, and when you move in with them, you realize they type of music you don't like. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because when I was home, I took showers. I had to have the music blasting. That's just what I do in the shower. It was it's annoying to other people. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? It could be the it could be a motherfucker late with bills. Now y'all sharing the rent. This motherfucker don't got his half. That's true. Money causes problems with roommates. The type music, the cleanliness. What else? What else? Motherfucker invading your space now. You used to walking around in your drawers and playing PlayStation. But what changes from okay? So what? What changes from? Excuse me. Mm -hmm. You 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 being at the crib all the time. Like mm -hmm. you being at somebody's house all the time. Right. So you already know the type of music they listen to. to a certain you already degree. know you already know all of this shit if I'm over there all the time. Mm -hmm. It's like, but when I move in, what changes? Because women like like with, like this doesn't not really necessarily have to be a relationship thing because women move in with their girlfriends. Dudes move in with their homies. Right. You know what I'm saying? Shit happens. What changes from now we live together. I'm now it's official and we live together. Think about this. You ever was a kid and your cousin comes spend a night? This nigga's supposed to stay like Saturday and Sunday and go the fuck home. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, he stays Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And by Tuesday, you want to beat him the fuck up. It's like it's time for him to go home. Yeah. You still love but your see, cousin. I'm an introvert, so that, that hits like 10 times heavier with It's me. like sometimes a motherfucker overstay their welcome. You know what I mean? And that, you got to fill that out, I think, even before getting married. You know, I know this is hard. <sighs> I know Listen, this is hard, but you you don't want to marry a woman. Like you, I, I like like you got you realize that, and this is this is crazy, right? Because mm -hmm. I I had a relationship before, and I'm and I didn't realize that that this bitch breath stunk until she moved in, How and it was and it was weird because I woke up next to her before when we were just spending the night on the weekends mm -hmm. or whatever. But for whatever reason, when we moved in, I just realized that Dragon her hygiene. Though. Mm. Wasn't what it was like. So, what was she doing when I was just spending the night? Was she just waking up at five in the morning and just probably. brushing her brushing her teeth? Like, probably. what the fuck is going she on? She probably was. So women, listen, uh, she can be the representative. It's other shit that's going on. And it, I'm a big thing. Like, like, uh, like, bathroom shit bothers me. Like, mm -hmm. like, I just feel like women ain't you mean supposed all to the, shit. All the weave in the I sink. I feel like Did that women. Oh hell yeah! Yeah, so for men, oh, we don't like all yeah. that weave shit. In I the don't sink. like weave in the sink. I don't really like weave. I don't, so I don't like weave in the sink. I just feel like women shouldn't take shits when I'm around. Right. Like that's just how I am. Like I think you should sneak. You know what I'm saying? When sneak I'm asleep, I think you should just like oh, wait till like three thirty in the morning when I'm sound asleep See, and just go take your shit and just an act asshole. like it never happened. You're an asshole. I just feel that way. Like you know what I mean? Like. It, it's just, it's just, it's just a lot of different but, things I mean, that when, things, when, when you got a, when you got a roommate, it's like because now you know the time that I normally got to myself to to, 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 to get my no dick more. beat on and to watch motherfucking Pornhub. Now I gotta, I gotta schedule that shit around when you ain't looking or when you ain't around. I don't be having that personal time to myself no more. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Shit. So and, and, and another thing, man, mm -hmm. that I gotta start hiding my lotion and and my motherfucking. <laughs> Calm oh, down, brother. Calm down, brother. Oh, you got man. to do that. You got to get your motherfucker. Oh my, my god! Fault, 
I know shit get the stress relievers for you, I, I assume. This is my dick meat. All right, all right, back to the show. Uh, what the fuck was I about to say? I got lost. I guess I was going to say, with roommates, I, right? I, I, right slice, so slice, you, I, slice, you've been the roommate from hell, too, because I've gotten phone calls from you when you was in college. Uh-huh. Of you still, you was broke in college, which mm-hmm. most people are, but you've right. never, nobody's ever got this phone call. Okay. Yo, bro. I need you to send me a couple hundred up here to college. That's it, baby. Because mm-hmm. I'm in here right now. Robin. S- stealing niggas Doritos. That's right. Shout out. He said, man, I used to go in my my, my roommate's uh-huh. Dorito bag. He had the big value bag. I was unrolling the shit at night mm-hmm. and stealing Doritos and rolling that shit back up. Like, just so he wouldn't know I was in it. Shout out to my man, Reem. 68th and Winkoat. Salute. I stole your Doritos. Fuck you. <laughs> That's my boy. This That's is my a, guy. This, 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 this is the Get Indicted him. podcast. Listen, I killed for Reem, but I'm going to eat his motherfucking Doritos when he ain't looking. That's this is the, the Get Indicted podcast. You just ratted me out. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, this is the Get Indicted podcast. Listen, it don't even matter if I stole Reem Doritos. It's my homie. But the point of the matter is, I'm not saying I'm... Listen, that's why I never had roommates, except in college. I live by myself 90% of the time because I know I'm unbearable to live with. I listen to oldies, man. I play the stylistics. Ain't nothing wrong with that, bro. In the shower, I'm singing. You ever hear my voice? But, but listen, you ever hear me sing? But so, yeah, it's terrible. Mm-hmm. But listen, a, a woman who lives with... Okay, oh, so that's I like wish... A, oh, it would rain. Rain, rain, rain. Rain in your motherfucking face, baby. Hear that? <clears throat> I'm... Listen. Oh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so That's listen. annoying to so, somebody. Okay, so you doing that, right? right? You do that all the time. Mm-hmm. So what I'm saying is a, a, a homie right. or a, a woman in a, a, a relationship right. or a potential relationship, you, if, they're, if they're spending the night at your crib, mm-hmm. right, you're, they're going to they're gonna know that you do that. You know what I'm saying? Like they, to a before, certain degree. Before they move in, they're going to know that. To a certain degree. You're not going to know right. it in this. I'm trying to tell you, you don't know it's in, in its entirety. It don't take long to find out that you're a dickhead. I'm going to tell you. You got to think. Here's the problems with roommates. One, if if it is the same sex and they got a boyfriend or girlfriend, mm-hmm. sometimes they damn near move their boyfriend or girlfriend in the fucking joint too. You got to have that talk like, yo, dog, we roommates, mm-hmm. but your fucking girl don't pay no fucking rent here. Mm-hmm. And if she going to be here every day, she got to at least pay the yeah. fucking electric bill. And then, and then you got to, and then if y'all don't share friends, so it's like, if we roommates, you got different friends than I got. Oh my and God. now it's just like, yo, I come in the crib, your homies smoke weed, mine's don't. Oh my yeah, God. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, it's, like it's we drink, up. we drink clear liquor, y'all drink brown. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> it you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, just, just, it's just, it's not matching. Um, it's hard. What I would tell her, right? Cause let's let's get to her question. Cause we didn't went all over the place with roommates. Let's 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 try to help this girl. Uh, moving out won't help. Oh, that's that's the first thing. Moving out won't help. Moving because, out will because, help because you, but not really because I think I feel like he's going to take offense to it. Um, I feel like moving out is not going to make things go back. To the way they were because you guys already lived with each other. Y'all already moved in. So it's like, okay, if you move out right now, what do you have to look forward to? Moving back in? Like, what, like you know what I'm saying? What y'all going, are, y- are y'all, what, what's the goal? Y'all going to move together? Y'all going to break up when you move out? Mm. Because if I move out, mm. eventually our goal is to move back in, get married or have a relationship, whatever the fuck it is. Mm. If I move out, what do I have to look forward to? I have to look forward to moving back, no, you living get, with no, this. I got the solution. You get a duplex. She live on the top floor, you live on the bottom floor. That she, might work. Why not? You still with your woman. She that needs might you. work. You pay the bills. She go upstairs. Listen, I'm a... I, see, this is why I've always So having a man cave just ain't enough no more. Fuck no. Because, yeah, women do violate. Women violate everything women do violate. a man has. Because guess what? They, you down there watching the game with your homies. What they going to walk, walk through. They, that's going to be laundry day. That's yeah. going to be laundry day. She got to wash clothes. She got to wash clothes. Yeah, fuck her. That's why the, you can't even put the washer and dryer in the man cave. It's, it's, shouldn't be there anyway. You gonna put it at? It shouldn't be there. I don't give a fuck. Put it in the dining room. Shouldn't be in the man cave. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I, all I'm saying, like, if we gonna keep it real, I've been, I've lived with a woman for an extensive period of time, right? Okay. We was able to eventually figure it out. It was mm-hmm. like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it takes time. So I'm gonna tell you, I don't know how they sound like they just moved in. Y'all gonna have to be able to communicate. Y'all gotta set boundaries. Communication is gonna mm-hmm. be key. You gonna say like, yo, bro. I don't want your drawers hanging up in the fucking bathroom. It got period blood on it. You know what I'm saying? That's what he gonna have to tell her. Like, all due respect, I don't want all this motherfucking weave in the sink. I thought fucking a goddamn gorilla got killed in this bathroom. It's things <laughs> like that that you gotta, you gotta you, be honest. Do you dislike weave in the sink? I dislike weave in the sink. I don't care if my woman had weave. Ah, uh, okay. As long as it's down to the crack of her ass. What? She gotta have long weave. I like that like shit. Like fake, fake Indian bitches, huh? I, 
that or braid it up down there. I don't give a fuck. Just make sure it touch the crack of your ass. That's my rule. Man, my thing is this. Listen. Help her. My, I'm, I'm trying to help you her. You tried to help I'm, Rodney I'm, last I'm, I'm, week. I'm, I'm you got us all threatened. Yo, listen. I'm trying to help her. Rodney going to have a nerve to say you had a good idea when threatening me. I, I said this motherfucker. <laughs> this was my, but that's a whole nother fucking week. Go ahead, man. But he is going to use my condom idea. Rodney, you going to jail? He definitely. No, he's going to get his chick back. He's going to get his chick back. I, I I feel like I feel like either one We're or two things We're not talking happens. about Rodney. Okay. What's okay. her name? Okay. Her name's Blank. <laughs> okay. Cool. Her, her name's Blank. All right. Blank. Um. I feel like um. Give us either, some real advice. Uh, Let's stop. Uh, right. We, we play too either, much. Either y'all advice. gonna either um you gonna y'all gonna have to sit down and have a a real conversation or y'all gonna Thanks. wind up breaking up because if you move out because you can't take you know his living conditions um. Is definitely going. Is definitely going to be over. And what you got to do is sometimes you got to be real with yourself. Um, he ain't just start playing video games with the headset on and shit. A lot of the shit that that he's doing now that you guys have moved in, he been doing. You know what I'm saying? It's just something else. Maybe is the fact that the sex has lessened mm -hmm. that you now notice what the fuck is going on more. And the sex probably has lessened because, like I said. He ain't there, fucking there, with there, you, Blake. There, there's a lot of different things that he's seeing he as a turn you, off. Blake. It's different when you come over on the weekend. It's like, damn, I'm about to get some ass. You're my girl about to come over. Like, slice it. I'm going to go clean up everything. Mm -hmm. I'm going I'm to I'm stuff all, just kick all the dirty clothes in the closet, close the closet, make the shit look neat. Fact. But now when you live together, so you, you got to see what's behind the curtain. It's like seeing behind the curtain of a magic trick. You see what I'm saying? He got to see all your fucked up shit. Yeah. You got to see all his fucked up shit. Let me get You got to see how the shit look before you come over. Miss Blank, he's right. You have you know to communicate. So you got to. You, it's, it's, it's you have either. to communicate. You also, y'all going to have to come up with some type of understanding about each other. Y'all going to have to have an open forum where y'all just disrespect what y'all don't like about each other. And then both of y'all got to be willing to compromise and change a little bit of shit. Right? He's going to have to fucking pick his dirty socks up or whatever he got to yeah. do. And um, he gonna have to deal with you shitting now, like you know what I'm saying. He gotta deal with the way you smell now. Like before, you know what I'm saying. You never know. That's why they say you never know a person before you before you move in because you know what I'm saying. Now you farting in the crib and shit like that. Like nah, bro. And if it doesn't work that's between you, for, that's grounds for breakup right there. That's just grounds for breakup. And tell Miss Blank if it doesn't work for you. In a few weeks, we're gonna have speed dating right here on the Talk Heavy Podcast. Just keep talking about this fucking speed. Speed day episode coming soon. We making matchmakers. We putting it together. You could be fucking. What's the man from the date game? Was it Chuck Woolery? Who had a fuck back in the day? I wouldn't know. You gonna be fucking Chuck Woolery if that was his name. And we're gonna have a fucking speed date and talk heavy podcast. That's all I got for you. Go ahead and break up with the nigga because I'm gonna have some good men on this show because everybody saying ain't no good men on this earth. Let's I'm gonna just prove y'all wrong. Hook, let's just hook blank up with Rodney. Let's hook blank up with Rodney and we don't we know just, if Rodney we, clean. Um, I mean, shit. We'll I don't find know. out. I don't, I don't know. Blank. But, Blank, that's what we need to do, because you don't Rod appreciate Rodney this man. Might, Rodney might break in her house and clean it the fuck up. There you go. You never know. But Blank, when you get you a Rodney, you'll appreciate that dirty motherfucker you live with. That's the end of the second quarter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. Uh. This third quarter is brought to you by New, New Souls, Souls Inc. New Souls Inc. is a nonprofit organization devoted to providing footwear for the homeless and inner city youth. So make sure you go to IG and hit up at New Souls Inc. And make a big donation. Welcome to the third quarter of the, the Talk, Talk Heavy, Heavy Podcast. Podcast. Yeah. Hey, man, listen. Listen, man. Yo, I, shit, I, I'm wired, this, man. I'm, uh, yeah. Shit just got me feeling. Then like, updated the mic yeah, yeah, this, this shit is weird. Like, weird. Pause. Pause. This whole episode shit. Like I think I'm on too much sugar, man. I'm feeling wild. I got a question for everybody out there and everybody in the room. You know what I'm saying? There's other people back there that y'all can't see mm -hmm. uh naturally and to you. Um, just a quick question. Um, it's, it's been on my mind for some time. Like actually for a few years. Um, do birds of a feather really flock together? That's a that's an old cliche oh, saying, right? But I have my take on it. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Let me give you an example. I give I give you an example. What's like, birds of a feather flock? Together? Meaning that let's just say for instance, let's just say let's just say for instance if if my girl right mm -hmm. if all her girlfriends are whores okay right my girl gotta have some whore in her. It's so just quite it's just quite natural because she associate with whores. Yes, because in my mind I feel like um. Mm -hmm. 
if I'm the if I'm the good girl, right, mm-hmm. and all of my girlfriends are whores, mm-hmm. it's like we kind of would clash. I kind of wouldn't find myself hanging out with people that I'm Sucking not sort of. Uh, yeah, They're like I'm, I said, I'm not kind of. So, all right, I put it in a different perspective, right? I put it in a different perspective. He not right. going to be, he ain't getting no dinner if, after this if, fucking third quarter. If I can cook. If, okay. if all my friends is drug dealers, right, or they just do crime. Mm-hmm. Let's just say all my friends do crime. I'm a nigga that go to school and just be chilling, right? Mm-hmm. It's probably a good possibility I'm going to be involved in some felonies at some point in time in my life. And I'm speaking from personal experience, of course. Mm-hmm. I've... You know, all my friends was in the streets. Mm -hmm. I was the dude that chose to go to school. Mm -hmm. I've been involved in at least eight felonies in my life. Why don't you tell us about it? No, I'm not. (laughs) No, no, I'm not. (laughs) But, you know, so I just just feel like if I always judge a person off of who their friends is. It's just just a part of who I am. You have to, to a certain degree. All right, let, let me break it down. Do birds of a feather flock together? I would have to say yes. Um... To a certain degree. Now, and I, that's probably like a double standard, but let me give it to you. Mm-hmm. If, prime example, as you said, if I run with a whole bunch of killers, right? Mm-hmm. I might not be a killer, but eventually I may be put in a situation where you I You definitely might have to drove kill. a car, or you did something. You drove around with the murder weapon in the car. You've you, done, you've done something. something. You've that's, done, that's done something. Be- um, you know, I used to uh, I used to sell life insurance like back in the day. Like, to drug dealers? Back at- no, oh, man. <laughs> this fucking genius. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, but back in the day, I used to, uh, and like they used to do these things where they used to have these seminars and they would bring all the salesmen in mm-hmm. and they would sit down and they would have these speeches, right? Right. And it was one thing that this guy said um, that stuck with me like for a long time. And he was like, you inherit 15% of the, of, the people that you're around, mm-hmm. whether it's language, culture, everything, whatever. You 15% of the people that you're around mm-hmm. is part of your makeup. The other 85%, you know, come from family and all of that shit. But 15% mm-hmm. comes from the out an outside influence of who you are around. I agree. You know what I'm saying? Let me give while you dropping advice, I'm gonna give some gems my dad gave me. So look, I came home from college, right? Grad mm-hmm. school. I, I was it grad school? Yeah, I think it was grad school at the time. I came home from grad school, right? Mm-hmm. And um, I couldn't find a job right away. Right. One, I should have stayed my ass out there and, and worked. But I came home. I found myself on the block. The same block I grew up with. Shout out to Jerome Street. Niggas down there. Like yeah. a prostitute? No, I found myself on the block chilling with the block boys. Okay. All right. Um, shout out Hunter Park, Jerome Street again. And each day, I was playing spades on the block. Motherfuckers is busting traps. If y'all know what that is, that's selling drugs all around me. You got people with straps, there's guns all around me. And we playing cards, everybody drinking, they smoking. I don't smoke, I don't drink. I don't, I didn't even know how to play spades until I got home from college. On the block. <laughs> right? Well, you know, there's only two places you learn how to play spades. I heard jail and school. Yeah, jail and college. I learned those, two places I learned you learn Jerome Street. Shout out Jerome Street. But listen, what happened was I was there every day for like eight months. Right? Mm-hmm. Here I am with a master's degree with all the block boys. And um, my dad just said to me, dog, if you don't start doing your own thing, you're gonna be a part of another person's day. He said, so you don't sell drugs, you don't drink, you don't smoke, but you sitting there wasting so many countless hours, mm-hmm. basically becoming a part of somebody else's life instead of living your own. And that shit woke me up. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's why fathers are important. Shout out my dad. Motherfucker told me some good shit at the times. Well, you know, I mean. But let's get back. I, I, I want you to get I back feel, on birds like, of a like, 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 put it like this. Let me, let me give you an example, right? Let me give you an example. Mm-hmm. Let's just say you're about to get married. Right. Right. You're about to get married. Right. Your wife is about to have a bachelorette party, mm-hmm. but all her girlfriends are horse. Okie dokie. I don't think that you're going to wind up getting married. I think that at some point in time, your wife's going to suck some dick at the bachelorette party. Ah, you think so? Let me let me let me tell you why. That's a hard. That's a hard joint even say, bro. Watch this. Watch this. I, my 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 cousin was an was a, a exotic dancer, right? I never forget this shit. My cousin was an exotic dancer. Female or male? He a male. He was a male. He's a male exotic wow. dancer, right? Um, he did his, he did bachelorette parties. Okay. Right? I can remember him saying to me, bro, listen, mm-hmm. I got my dick sucked by 12 brides straight mm-hmm. at the bachelorette party. He said 12 brides straight mm. at the bachelorette party. My cousin's not that good looking. 
<laughs> That's fucked up. He's not that good looking. He's not that good looking. Yeah. So I say to him, I'm like, well, where do I get an application? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you said to him. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, that's oh, fucking shit. crazy. So I say to him, uh-huh. I'm like, so, like, how does this happen? Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? These women are about to be happily married mm-hmm. tomorrow. Like, how does it happen? He's like, yo, it always happens with from peer pressure from their friends. Their yeah. friends always put them up to do it. Yeah, fuck friends, man. So this is what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So I'm saying. That's why I always do get you, the lonely do, girl do, at the do library. You, do you still get married? If I find out she sucked the dick, get, yes, the, the night, night before. before the wedding, yes, do you still get married? First of all, ladies at home, <laughs> who gonna come on this dating game? I just want you to know if you suck a dick prior to the wedding, it's the best of that party I though. Don't give a fuck. This wedding is called off. Ant man, Ant man, you still get married? Fuck no. He said, "Fuck no." If you can't hear him at home, I, I, I think I think y'all niggas lying. No, I think no. y'all niggas lying. Listen, only, listen, listen, oh, come on, come listen, on, hold no, on. Listen, Before listen, you start, listen, 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 I'm, only I'm t- you feel listen. like we lie because when you're the corporate and you're known for forgiveness, you didn't forgive more I'm people than Jesus Christ. I'm not forgiving a dick suck, bro. <laughs> like, no, I'm not. You're not you, 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 know, you know, it's the number one thing men no, ask. Did what? you suck his dick? Yeah, I'm definitely not. I'm definitely not. Now, listen. So, you think she's going to tell you the truth? This has nothing to do with birds of a feather right now. It does a little bit. Go ahead. It does a little bit because I'm going to tell you why. She don't got to tell you the truth. Some of the bridesmaids that go to the bachelorette party are related to you. Right. So they be the ones that rat. She won't do that shit in front of your cousins. Bro, listen, this is, okay. Let me give you. Let me do you one better, bird. Let's let's flip it to to the men's side now. Right. If as a man, right. right? As a man, if all my friends is dogs and all they do is is fuck it's bitches, smart. eventually I'm gonna get some pussy. Yeah, I agree. I Eventually, agree. some I agree. pussy gonna just fall in my lap. Yeah, they gonna hook just, you up. Just cause. It's gonna be like, yo, just, just hang out with yo, I need yo, you to take bro, one I just for the team. You, I just need you to take one for the team. Just, Eventually, it's gonna happen. Yeah, that's true. It's eventually gonna happen. That's true. So let's stop acting like the, the saying isn't true. No. The saying is a thousand percent true. Right, but, but, but hold on. Let me cut you off. But again, you and I both been around some people that's dogs. You know what I mean? A group of dudes. I think it depends on how long you're around them. I'm not a dog. I'm a fuck. I'm the, I'm the most noble man you know. Listen, what I'm saying is we all <laughs> we all been around. Let's say I've been around a bunch of guys that's dogs. I got some homies. They the yeah. I got some homies. They the dog is the dogs. I'd be like, yo, dog, why you doing that? But see, it's a difference because these aren't the people that you hang out with every day. It's the amount you see of what time. I'm saying? It's the amount right, of let's, time. Let's, let, okay. Let, 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 let me let, let me paint a picture for I'm you. Let, you let, me, let me paint a picture Go for ahead. you. You in a relationship? Boom. Wifey about to take a trip. Right. She about to go to Mexico. Right. Girls trip. Right. Hey, girls trip. But you know all her, you know all our friends are hoes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Or let's just say they going to Vegas. Mm, you know what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Yeah. Mm, she going to Vegas with her girlfriends. Yeah. But all of her girlfriends have whole tendencies. A reputation. Mm-hmm. Well, what do you feel like is going to happen? Well, I tell you what's going to happen. One, I'm going to call Rodney. <laughs> He's going to break out my bitch crib, too, through the garage. He's going to steal her fucking driver's license and her passport the night before the trip. She came out my nose. <laughs> He's going to steal her license and her passport the night before the trip. And she's not going to be able to get on the plane. So unless she's going to drive to Vegas, her ass ain't going. Why? But why, though? Why, why is she not... Why is she not allowed to go? My, she can go if she's only going to twerk and for a bunch of girls to say, hey, 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 and slap her on the ass a few times and then she fly back home. But if she's going to Vegas to do the, with a whole bunch of girls that I know going to do everything to anybody out there, mm-hmm. the, my, my woman's classy. My woman's not even going to have them friends. She ain't going to hang out with them like that. Why not, though? Hmm? Why your woman can't be classy and have, whole, and have whole friends? She could chill with them a little bit. This is an argument that I've I've had. Multiple it's it's times. about timing. It's about how much time you spend with that person. It goes back to basically what my father said. I gotta go back to you, Dad. It depends on how much time. If I fucking know you and you are fucking a thug and you're a drug dealer, a killer, I could come around you, dap you up, hang out, have a conversation. But mm-hmm. if I roll with you for two weeks, I'm probably gonna get shot. Uh, yeah. So if she rolls with him for too long, she's probably gonna suck a dick, like you said. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you today? <laughs> it's most likely you're around you're around fucking people that like all right, so let me give you a perfect example. Mm-hmm. Perfect example. If you're around, let's 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 really be serious here. Let mm-hmm. me I've been joking all day. Yo, I don't know what's in this drink. These motherfuckers got me wired again. I think they nineteen forty two, nigga. I think they be slipping me Mickeys. But listen, if you put yourself around people that's getting money, right? 
Right. Or that's or, or that's that's doing something positive or, or making moves. Yep. You're gonna make moves. Mm-hmm. If you put yourself around motherfuckers that's not doing nothing, that's yep. not making moves, that's not getting money. Like right now, we hang with motherfuckers that podcast. Fuck what the fuck we doing? We podcast. No, for the record, we knew nothing about podcasting. Nope. Ever. Nope. Nah, we we start hanging now, around. Now all I wanna do is podcast. So you know what I'm saying? So like that's what we talk about. You know how your mom always tell you, like, yo, you gotta watch the friends you keep. She telling you that shit for a reason because you're yeah, guilty because by association. Because if I would have kept hanging with my cousin, I would have had exotic dancer dreams. You know what I'm saying? I would have had aspirations to be a stripper. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I would have been, you know what I'm saying, get my dick sucked by a bride. And I didn't done you know some dark things. I didn't done some dark things with some uh with some really dark dark people out in the inner city of Philadelphia, um, purchasing things we shouldn't have purchased and and Puss, pussy. No, I never bought no pussy. I can't afford it. It's very expensive. It's forty dollars. It, it only used to be like five dollars back in the no, day. No, I don't know what it was. Back then. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, you had the oh, crackhead prices. In the crack, in the crack era, <laughs> pussy was five dollars. No, he go. I've, 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 I've participated in criminal activities with guys. You know what I'm saying? To a certain degree, I was always on the up and up. But also, there was a lot of times where those guys wouldn't allow me to do certain shit. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. even though I, I, even now, like if you look at my Instagram, you'll see me on Jerome Street still. I go through. I post up pictures on the block. Mm-hmm. But I'm, I'm it's a limited time down there. I show the people that I love, despite the fact we live different lifestyles. I love them. We're still mm-hmm. friends, but we can't hang all the fucking time because eventually, the shit is gonna go in the direction where I'm not trying to go. Okay. Or mm-hmm. or go ahead. It could go in the other direction. It could go. You could rub off on them, and you do. And yeah, and you I do mean, on some you know, of them. But my my my, I, I think that the reason that I'm bringing this up right mm-hmm. is because I think that I've had this argument with just about every woman I've ever been in a relationship with. Right. Um. All your girls have um, with all nah, hoes. Nah, 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 nah. Well, Are you saying one, right now that the your girl, that all her girlfriends, is the hoes. ones that? That, Answer that the frequent, fucking question. The, no, no. Okay, no. you don't want to The ones folks. that frequent, the ones that frequent, uh, hoes. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I, I feel like we using um, we using this hoe a little extreme. So what's the I, we want we want to say male hoes too. All right, no, I'm, so, I'm speaking. I, I'm speaking hoes my own personal. So we speaking hoes in general, right? Okay, yeah. Okay, so, so if I, your I, man from, from ladies a, from, at home, from a personal standpoint, right? right? From a personal standpoint, I used to run in a circle of niggas that was hoes. Hoes. Okay. Right, mm-hmm. um, I found myself mm-hmm. being um having aspirations right of wanting to live the lifestyle. Mm. I did. I did because it was like it was fun. It was oh, he had a Monday, a Tuesday. He doubled up on Wednesday. He had a whole like that's right. what got me. When then when MySpace hit, boom, <laughs> you looking at no, that's when GB was born. But I. Had those aspirations already. Yeah, you must. You know what I'm saying? I had those. I, I, and guess what? When I got on MySpace, right? Mm-hmm. Um, at this point in time, I um, I had a, you know, I mean, shout out to you know everybody that worked for GMB Satellite. I had my own satellite. I thought you was gonna get Tom a shout out on MySpace. I'm about to say that's the first friend. That's fucked up. <laughs> no, no, no. If no, y'all no. know Tom, man, I shout out a, Tom uh, on MySpace. I had a satellite installation company. We used we was a subcontracting company for mm-hmm. Directv. Right. Right. And at this point in time was where the Hold'em started. So I used to, I hired um, is, is contractors. It, is, I, hold, is Hold'em a word? I don't know. Okay. I don't we'll know. It. So I hired uh, contractors. I had mm-hmm. about nine employees or mm-hmm. whatever, right? So they would be around me all of the time. Mm-hmm. You know, they would come to the house, get equipment. And, like, we would just be at Greenwich Ever all the time. So they all would have these stories. Right. Right? Now, mind you, I'm, I'm in the crib. I'm in the relationship. Mm-hmm. I'm chilling. They would all come to the, they would all come and they would just all have these stories like, oh man, I went in this house mm-hmm. and yo, you ain't gonna believe what happened. I'm going back later once I go. So it was like, yo, they was just fucking all of these chicks, mm-hmm. right? MySpace hit, mm-hmm. right? They put me on MySpace like, yo, man, you just got to go on here. It's good for business. That's how they spun it to me. Mm-hmm. Like, yo, you got to, you, so you know, you got to go in you. and put the business, the business under the uh, yeah, right. this is before. Okay. No, this is the beginning. Right. This is what gets me on social media. All right. right, I'm like, okay, boom, going in there. Every girl I ever went to school with, yeah, you start to see them again. You start to follow them. Next thing you know, you start equating people following you with people really being to me. This is my first social media experience. Mm-hmm. I 
I feel like if a girl follow me, she really like me. Oh shit. Like I feel like, oh shit, she she following me. Oh, oh shit. she want me. Oh shit. Next thing I know, I'm in box. It goes down in the DM. I, I, was it I, called I, DM I, back then? No, it was it called inbox. Okay. It was I'm just called scared. inbox. I can't remember. I, I'm now next thing you know, I'm inboxing everybody. Mm -hmm. Right? Just because I'm surrounded every day around guys that this is what they doing. They start even giving you pointers. No, bro, so what you got to do is you got to say this. So got to say this. So let me ask you this. What's the top three whole fashions? Professions. Um, whole fashions. Only fans. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. I, I want to say like, like cable guys. Cable guys are known for getting a lot of sex and doing yeah, a lot of whole y'all know... Uh, and let me just disclaimer out there, right? That's why I fucking just, Verizon just, just can't come in my house. Disclaimer out there, right? There. For all y'all guys out, out there, right? If the cable is getting installed, the Wi-Fi, the internet is getting installed, mm -hmm. and you let your girl be home by herself, use a, um, use a fucking fool. Yep. Okay? Because we have, at GB Satellite, we have <laughs> taken down... Half of motherfucking Philadelphia. If, if an, an employee from GB Satellite came to your house, uh, best believe, man, I man, the motherfuckers used to have nudes, videos, so, the whole so cable fucking guy. Nine. What, cable what, guy are, is are definitely. I, I, fucking. I, got, I got number two. Cable guy, fuck. Are in Philadelphia, we would call it SEPTA, but everywhere else, it would be public transportation drivers and anybody else who work for. Oh their yeah, company. SEPTA, SEPTA niggas got good benefits. They definitely fucking. They, okay. they, they so definitely fuck. They know for the whole, whole for having a whole a whole season, right? Mm -hmm. The whole fashion. Who else? All right, so we got cable men, we got the bus fucking drivers, male and female. Mm -hmm. Who else? Uh, uh, barbers. 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 Yeah. I yeah, barbers. So. Barbers get a, gotta barbers, be barbers. Barbers get a lot of pussy, bro. Yeah, because because a lot of single, single women, moms. a lot of single women take their children into the barbershop oh, shit. to get their haircuts. Barbers. Barbers fuck a lot of bitches, bro. Mm, barbers. That, that, and God forbid you got a barber shop and a hair salon, a hair salon together. Oh, it's going down. It's going down. All right, so that's three. That's three. You got anybody else? You got down. any more? Any more? Uh, uh, auto mechanics. Auto mechanics? Auto mechanics. Oh, auto shit. mechanics. Because auto, mechanic, auto mechanics always feel like the captain save a hoe. Auto mechanics, you get the you get the damsel in distress, the woman who brings her car. Oh my God, I don't know, I don't know what's wrong with my car, and it's like dun dun dun. dun. You know what I'm saying? Now here comes super, super <laughs> here comes super wrench. Super and shit come wrench. in, super wrench come in, and he say today now she driving again. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Now she turned on. Oh my God, I have a flat tire. Oh, don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? Just bring it to motherfucking, uh, you know, Big Wrench's auto mechanic. Yeah. And then he fucking fixed the tire. Now you all like, oh, my God, he saved the day. Uh, yeah. I wonder what else he could do. That's hard. I'm just hard. I'm just telling you, auto mechanics, fuck a lot. Barbers, fuck a lot. Anybody that comes into your house to install any type of entertainment, whether it be Wi-Fi, uh, television, files, whatever the fuck, mm -hmm. they fuck a lot. And, and I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you the cheat code for the people that you let in your house. The cheat code is... Mm -hmm. I'll tell you our patented move. I, these are trade secrets he that said I'm like. R. I, back at GB Satellite days. Oh my these God. are these are trade secrets. The first thing that the, the, the person does when they come into your home That's is why the feds shut that shit down. They look around and they see if the presence of another man is there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'll tell you why. For Timberlands. <laughs> yes, yes. Absolutely. Pictures on the wall. And I'll tell you why that's so prevalent. Because mm -hmm. you're in your own home. Mm -hmm. You're comfortable. You're in your place of comfort. Mm -hmm. I already get to see how you live. I get to see if you junky, if you clean. I get to see everything. They might clean up for the mind you, man. mind you. I'm in. I got free reign in the house. Mm -hmm. I'm allowed to go in every room because right. I got a I got a latest cable. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta. So the, so you walk in. The women just be like, oh, you know, I'll be upstairs. You know, just go in and just you know, just let me know when you're done. Mm -hmm. I'm up in the bedroom. I'm in the basement. I get to see. I got full reign in the house, yeah. right? I'm looking to see if the nigga got some motherfucking Air Maxes in there. Mm -hmm. I'm looking to see whatever, right? Mm -hmm. now, I'm conversating with you. Right. You're we filling go, out. We, I'm filling out the process. Like, okay, yeah, she real friendly. And I'm in your bedroom. You laying on the bed like this. I'm I'm on the side of the bed. We in the bedroom together mm -hmm. already. We building this chemistry. You 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 used to me being in the bedroom. That's the chemistry, huh? Sorry, you man, I'll be back later. Let me ask you this, right? I'm 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 a name another profession, right? And then I got something to say. I'm gonna say youth football coaches, right? Oh, so now I'm gonna stop there. 
So, Ooh. for the record, GP has been a youth football coach. He's been a cable man. He's been a motherfucking mechanic. <laughs> and what was the first one? I, a barber. And a barber. He cuts hair, too. So, this motherfucker hey, is four yeah. out of five hoes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you date this motherfucker, dump him now. <laughs> dump Whoever his girl is, dump his ass now. Hey, like, yo. run for the fucking border. Hey, yo, you know, <laughs> no, that nigga set me up. That nigga set me up, bro. I've been four out of the five things we just named. Yeah, I've been a barber, yeah. a cable man, yeah. a mechanic. A mechanic. Uh, you pick all whole fashions. I, I, I never I never drove Scepter bus. <laughs> what the fuck? You working on your CDL now. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga work on professions. Listen, last oh, one. Oh, shit. Last one I got to ask, and, and we can get back to, let's get back on topic with birds of a feather. Do you think daycare teachers? What you mean? Or you think that's a, a whole fashion? Daycare teachers. Like when you go pick kids up from daycare. I don't know. You don't know. I don't know either. Like, what makes you say that shit, though, nigga? You ain't just right. pulling out your ass. No, I'm going to keep it real. I taught preschool one time. I was having hard times. I worked at a preschool school. So you mean a male? No, no. I mean a female, usually, because mm -hmm. I, watched, I watched when the dads pick these motherfucking kids up, too. Because y'all oh. think dads don't pick kids up. But it's all women, mostly, that work oh. in these places. Oh, let me tell you. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, absolutely. And, and men are attracted to scrubs. Absolutely, <laughs> yes. I don't know what it is about scrubs. It Women just and make scrubs you, is attractive. Scrubs just make you. I, I don't know what it is. It mean you. It mean you got a job and you can fuck. I just made that up. Right, don't go with that. What? <laughs> everybody that wears scrubs can't fuck. Well, they got a job. Uh, sometimes, sometimes motherfuckers be false kicking it. Yeah. Motherfuckers wear scrubs because no, they're comfortable. All, all, all due respect. So that's that's the issue. I, I don't know. But those mm. right now, ladies, those are the top five. Damn, whole daycare fashion. is a whole fashion. I would think so. I like. I used to feel that way about kindergarten teachers. What? I, I used to feel like all kindergarten teachers was whores. What the fuck? I just, I just, I guess that's the daycare. If it's well, the daycare, I took preschool, in there. but it was strange because I was the only male in the building. Mm. So you it, saying it, you, it, you bombed all the? No, I didn't bomb all of them. I just had a few friends. <laughs> <laughs> had a few friends. All right. So listen, birds of a feather flocking together. I'm trying to get back on top of each other, flipping on me, nigga. I ain't worked for the five professions. Or, the whole Damn, season. that's crazy. Um, you set me up, though. Yeah, that, that was a setup. That's fucked that's up. That's crazy. Ah, I've, been, I've been snitching on everybody these past two weeks. Yeah, you snitch. Ant, Ant Man, what you do, Ant Man? That nigga used to drive Scepter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ratting on everybody. Fuck that. Everybody going down. That's <laughs> like, no. <laughs> oh, shit. Man, he used to be a Scepter driver, man. Oh, Old shit. Fashions. He filled, he, filled, he filled in number five. The Talk Heavy Podcast. These motherfuckers all work at home. All whores. Whole jobs. Yeah. God Except me. You damn. Know That's why. I, I mean, well, you only had two sex partners in your life, so. <laughs> there you go. I mean, that shit. I mean, you 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 don't fit a lot of categories, but you really do fit a lot of categories. Like, I, I, I feel mean? like. No, no, bro. You 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 really be trying to like duck out of some of these categories. Let me tell like, you something. You ain't, like, he wants the ladies and gentlemen at home, home. Hit the like and subscribe button because I ain't tell y'all that shit last quarter. Don't forget. He wants to flip it on me because I set him up. We not gonna let him go there. We getting back on target. I'm not even trying to hear this shit the next episode. I got one for you. Go ahead. What's the whole fashion? Main one. Go ahead. Main one. Go ahead. Get more. Get more box than all of these motherfuckers put together. Go ahead. I got you. I'm listening. I got you. Personal trainers. You motherfucking personal trainers. I hate personal all the bitches. Yeah, because they be taking all your big bitches. Yeah, they be trying to get in shape. Man. All your BBWs so, be trying to get in shape. Yeah. Yo, first of all, yo, personal, if you work trainers, at, personal trainers. They get a lot of bitches. No, I, listen. They, they do. If I have a woman, she can't even go to a personal trainer unless this motherfucker got like seven licenses. I'm not going with the motherfucking nigga that just do a lot of push-ups. Now mm -hmm. he buff. He, 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 the IG, he the IG trainer. Yeah, he, he and he training his crib. Fuck y'all. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, training at your house doing push-ups. He's going to act like my, my woman legs come, all come up. subscribe to my 30-day ab workout. No, fuck y'all. It's, it's at the crib. I'm hating. I'm hating. A matter of fact, while we ratting, I'm calling Ellen out on all of them motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> y'all ain't got no fucking license to be fucking stretching women out like that. You motherfuckers. Oh, shit. Like, like, no. Oh, and masseuse. A masseuse? Yo, did you see the John with the with the two no, boys the two masseusing niggas. when they even masseusing? They they finger fucking. They that they, that's not massaging. That's not massaging. Bro. I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know how we got here from birds of a feather. But this, I think it's just safe to say that uh, this this quarter turned from birds of a feather to whole fashions. To whole fashions. There you go. But I feel like uh, hoes flock together. I just I just feel that way. I feel like there's a natural attraction. Like oh, oh you, 
You suck a lot of dicks. Do you feel like church people fly together? Oh, let's just let's let's just go to the club together. Do you feel like a lot of church people flow together? Um, like if you really yeah, into church, uh, do you think like y'all? You so you're trying hang out to say people that go to church is a whole fashion. That's <laughs> I'm what you're not trying saying. to say. So only you're pastors. trying to say hoes. only pastors. Pastors definitely hoes. No, everybody. A lot, a lot of pastors. Who is don't? Hoes. Who who's not attracted to the man that's supposedly closest to God? Why wouldn't you be? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Think about it. If I'm up here and I'm I, I'm closest to God, you know how fucking powerful that is at the front of church. First of all, I'm powerful enough I can tell you get this money to me and the Lord, and you gonna give me the money. And let alone I'm up here and I'm preaching the word and I'm telling you how to get into heaven. So you saying God want me to have this pussy? I'm saying and if he's that's... single, God probably wants him to get something. <laughs> God want him to have the God wouldn't get listen, God wouldn't have put the word in it. Oh, shit. Listen, sister. No, 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 no. We're not going to accept those ties today. <laughs> we got other ways that you can We pay. got other day, no, other ways that the listen, Lord wants you to. I don't know. It depends on the uh I guess the religion, because some say you should be married. I, I don't know if all of them do, but my point is a pastor should be probably one of the most attractive men to women in the church. What you think? Um, damn, now that you put it that way, women I mean, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't, I don't, yeah, women are attracted to power, and we kind of learned that from coaching youth sports, but, um, yeah, uh, damn, I just feel like, uh, if, if, if I was a motherfucking pastor, boy, mm -hmm. man, I'd sh probably be taking them down to, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. That's fucking we're crazy. I, I mean, I just feel like you know, you know how I feel about the, my man Garnett Briscoe the became a deacon at every church. Why you, you talking think, about? Why do you think Garnett Briscoe became a deacon? He became if if you listen to everything mm -hmm. he named, uh, he's a gynecologist. He named everything all, they got. All, he all named vagina everything related. all yeah. vagina related. Shout out my man Garnett Briscoe, man. He was here last week. Oh shit! All right, let's wrap it up, man. What was the final? What's the final words you give to somebody? No, the birds of a flower. Birds of a feather do flock together. Okay. Um, you should definitely uh, judge somebody. Um, you got to. Off the company you, off, they keep. Off the company that they keep. Mm -hmm. You got to. Um, because eventually, 15% of that is, is is who they are. So if, if you know, if I hang around, you know, all good looking niggas, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be good looking, I guess. You know what I'm saying? If I hang around, fifteen percent of, of you, fifteen percent of me gonna be good looking. If I hang around a bunch of niggas that all they care about is getting their dick sucked and 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 fucking hoes and installing cable and driving septa buses and cutting hair and fucking putting in engines, then you know what I'm saying? I might be a whore. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta just pick who the fuck you around. You know what I'm saying? You gotta judge people about who they fucking hang around. That's why I hang around all abstinent men. Who are of God. <laughs> <laughs> Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Won't he do it? You know what I'm saying? He I hang around pastors. <laughs> <laughs> he trying to get in that profession. <laughs> hey, man, y'all heard the final advice oh, from GB, shit. man. All I'm saying is, man, be careful who you're around, man, because you can ride in the car and they can have an AK in the trunk and you can be doing some serious time. I'm the fuck out of this third quarter. This fourth quarter is brought to you by Shine Pro Management. Hey, if you're looking for excellent work and professionalism and not a whole fashion, call up my man, Sean Pro Management. Hey, man, listen, if you need some sheetrock done, Sean Pro Management does it. Roofing. Sean Pro Management does it. Surveillance. Sean Pro Management does it. Home management. Let me tell you something. It's top quality, it's top profession, and it's excellent work, man. But make sure that when you call, you use promo code Talk Heavy for five percent off. That's it, man. Shine, Shine Pro Management. management. You're, You're gonna, gonna love coming, coming back home. Nah. Yeah. 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 I walk with a Nike but gray. This kid's making harder than Vince. This time I got back on some shit. I'm not with the back and forth this. Just one color wig as you hit. My shooters walk out, they don't miss. Fuck beat bitches, one bitch and men. New lock and again wanna stay. I walk with a Nike but gray. This kid's making harder than Vince. This time I got back on some shit. 
I'm not with that bag up for dead Just walk all the way cause you hate My shooter walk out there, they don't make Fuck beef with just one bitch and man No beef with just one bitch and man But it's beef about my dividends Brothers only don't really be friends Fuck them once, been the fucker again Duck them once, been the ducker again Since a young and I just wanted bands I was down there and give me a hand Climbing up for the throne once again Yeah, these niggas ain't rapping like me These niggas be acting like fleas Smoke on OG and keep me at peace Ryan lonely, I'm ducking police Where this nigga, I work in the streets I ain't hiding the money, I need it You a fan, I can tell, I can see it Watch them lurking, I'm ready, I mean it New like a nigga with a stick I walk with a knock, keep a grip This kid's making harder than Vince This time I got back on some shit I'm not with the back and for this Just one call away cause you hit My shooters walk up, they don't miss Fuck beef, we just want bitch and mints New like a nigga with a stick I walk with a knock, keep a grip This kid's making harder than Vince This time I got back on some shit I'm not with the back and for this Just one call away cause you hit My shooters walk up, they don't miss Fuck beef, we just want bitch and mints Bro told me to rap, I said I'm finna shoot I stand on my own, but I understand too Shout out, he ain't no vodka I'm on the block trying to climb out the trap with the goons Lava, we shootin' proper Only for paper, cause niggas is broke, I assume Hop in that bitch through the desk, I go zoom Peep up your block with a mop, not a broom Bro told me to rap, I said I'm finna shoot I stand on my own, but I understand too Shout out, he ain't no vodka I'm on the block trying to climb out the trap with the goons Lava, we shootin' proper We shootin' proper Niggas is broke, I assume Hop in that bitch through the desk, I go zoom New lock and nigga with a stick I walk with a knock, keep a grip This kid's making harder than Vince This time I got back on some shit I'm not with the back and for this Just one call away cause you hit My shooters walk up, they don't miss Fuck beef, we just one bitch and miss New lock and nigga with a stick I walk with a knock, keep a grip This kid's making harder than Vince This time I got back on some shit I'm not with the back and for this Just one call away cause you hit My shooters walk up, they don't miss Fuck beef, we just one bitch and miss